the quickest ways to use Grafana is by using their cloud account that you can sign up right now. But the most robust way to install Grafana without limits, it's their open source version installed on your own BPS. On this video, I'm going to show you how to install it really quickly with a Hostinger one-click install of Grafana. So let's get started. What's up everyone? So this is Grafana Labs and it's an open source version that you can install on a BPS. Now, if you don't want to go through that process, you can go ahead and create a free account on their site. So it's a cloud account that will have a few limits, but it's a workable version. But if you don't want limits, I definitely recommend that you go through these steps to install it on a hosting or a BPS. Now to do so, well, I'm going to show you first the plans that they have available on a hosting or BPS so you can find out what the best price is. So currently this video is sponsored by Hostinger. So if you plan to grab a BPS, do check out that link in the description. So go to services, BPS hosting, and you'll be able to find their BPS plans right here. I would recommend that if you don't plan to use a whole lot for Fana, KVM one would definitely do the job. But if you plan to use this with uh, several graphs that you want to create in several dashboards, I would recommend that you jump into KVM four or KVM eight. In this video, we're going to go into the sweet spot, which is KBM2 for $6.99 a month. Now, on this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code to reduce that price even more. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months you want to pay in advance. I recommend 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current price, but if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code and apply it, the price is going to drop to $150 with 98 cents. Now, to install Grafana, you have two methods on Hostinger. One is here in the purchase page. So that means that once you purchase it, it'll have Grafana installed. To do that, do it select the Grafana installation right here. Okay. So go to applications, go to show more and scroll down and you will find Grafana. So I'll go ahead and select it, confirm. And that means that when I go through the purchase process, Grafana will be installed from the beginning. Now, if you already purchased a BPS on Hostinger or you forgot to install Grafana in the beginning, all you have to do is jump into your panel, go to BPS, and you'll find a list of all the BPS that's available right here. Now, in this case, let's just say that I don't want to use Llama OS right here. So what I want to do is go to manage and in manage, I'll go to OS and panel operating system. And that means I'm going to go to application. I'm going to show more and I'm going to search for Grafana. And that should be available right here. Okay. Be aware that by changing the OS, everything will be wiped out from that BPS. So if you have a website there, don't do this. Okay. So, but if you want to clean and install and have Grafana in here, go ahead and go through these steps. Okay. So hit next, use the password here. I'll go ahead and confirm and it's going to start the installation process. So here we go. Changes are in process and the installation has begun. That means that Grafana will be installed on this BPS. Now I already have a BPS installed with Grafana. So I'll go to BPS. I'll go to this one right here. I'll go ahead and manage. I'll go to manage app and you can see here, this is my username and here's the password. I can go ahead and reset it in case I forget it. Okay. Go to manage app. Here we go. And I, in this case, I'm already logged in, but you will have your own panel to log in in or out. So in this case, I'll be logging in again. There it is. I'm back in here. I'm not going to save the password and I have my Grafana dashboard ready to go and I'm able to create dashboards of graphics right here. Now to get started on Grafana, it's super easy. Go ahead and add a new connection because you want to have connections to grab the details that you want to use on your dashboards. So in this case, there's a ton of connections that you can start using. You can track, for example, your website visitors, views, clicks, etc., by connecting MySQL, or you can track your Google Analytics, Astra DV. And the beauty about this, even Cloudflare, I love that one but you have to be in the enterprise version. Now, the idea of this is to create dashboards based on the information that you need and you can view it the way you want. Now, I would recommend that you get started by adding the test one, which is the test data. Go ahead and add a new test data source and go ahead and use this one, the default one. Let's go ahead and save this. And this will give you a feel of how to build dashboards. So once you have a connection ready, go to dashboards and we want to create a brand new dashboard. So I'll add a visualization and I'm going to select one of the data sources available here. So that's the default one. And this is one of the new panels created here. And you'll have all the details to really make this a robust graphics dashboard. OK, so in this case, here's a new panel. I can view the last hours. I can do a table view of all these details. I can change the visualization view. For example, right now it's a time series, but it could be a bar chart. It could be a stat chart. 
a gauge depending what the chart is about you're going to select the one that fits your needs so in this case you can see pie chart doesn't work for me or either the state timeline because there's too much information going on here there's also like heat map which also this doesn't apply to but the first ones like the time series will work beautiful for this you can see here i hover over this and i have the information now we can change all this information well not the information the way you preview the information so you got your details from the queries right here the transformations the alerts and on the right you have more details to change your panel view you got your tool tips all you got hidden on the bottom you got your access you can change all this it's a super robust platform that will take you a few hours to get the hang of it but it's definitely worth it to create dashboards the way you actually need them not what other platforms provide you so by adding all these connections right here you'll be able to create your own customized dashboard using grafana so you saw how easy this was to install on a hosting your bps so definitely if you plan to grab a bps don't forget to use my coupon code which is as faster and don't forget to click on the link in the description to help me out with a small commission it won't cost you a single cent more than whatever it already says there but it helps me out with a small commission and that is a wrap